Hey Poke fans! today we're going to be covering the best Pokemon for each of the 18 types, including honorable mentions and excluding legendaries for obvious reasons. Also, this is my own personal list, so if you disagree, then I'd love to know what your list is down in the comments. But without wasting any more time, let's begin with the water type. A surprise to absolutely no one, we have Gyarados. This monster of a Pokemon is a fierce and formidable foe, and borderline broken if you're able to use it in a hardcore Nuzlocke. Along with its intimidating ability, it also has incredible stats with respectable bulk to back it up, easily making it the best water type. The honorable mentions here are Swampert and Milotic. On to the electric type. And the easy choice here is Magnezone. This tank might be slower than all the others, but it hits like a truck with its massive special attack. With its steel typing, it has great bulk and also has sturdy as a get out of jail free card, crowning it the king of electric. The honorable mentions here are Alolan Raichu and Electros. The best dark type Pokemon is Hydreigon. Having a whopping base stat total of 600 as our first pseudo legendary to take the top and definitely not the last. Hydreigon has a disgusting special of 125 and amazing stats everywhere else making it the clear winner. Our honorable mentions here are Umbreon and Greninja. Taking the crown as the best normal type Pokemon, we have Snorlax. It's the lovable poster child of everything that is normal. Snorlax is an absolute beast with a massive health pool, so it can take a punch and dish it back out even harder. Our honorable mentions here are Blissey and Porygon Z. On to the ground type, we have another incredible pseudo legendary in Garchomp. Garchomp has exceptional speed and attack, allowing it to take out anything in its path with an arsenal of different moves, including Stab Earthquake. It's Cynthia's ace for a reason, granting it the best ground type. Our honorable mentions are Exedril and Steelix. Now for the best bug type Pokemon, we have Volcarona. It has incredible special attack backed by a respectable speed, and it learns Quiver Dance. What else is there to say? I was even convinced that this thing was a legendary during my first playthrough of Black and White. Honorable mentions are Galissapod and Heracross. Onto the fire type, and the best Pokemon here is Chandelure. As a ghost and fire type, Chandelure not only has a great move pool and incredible special attack, but it also has several resistances and immunities, making it an excellent addition to anyone's team, and even does great in competitive. Honorable mentions here are Arcanine and Blaze. Again. For the best ice type, I'm giving it to Lapras. Aside from just being the most popular form of transportation, Lapras has phenomenal bulk to pair with its respectable attack stats. And until the fairy type introduction, this beast was incredibly useful against pesky dragon types with its disgusting ice beams. The honorable mentions are Iron Bundle and Mamoswine. For the fairy type, coming out of left field, we have Togekiss. Togekiss is an extremely useful Pokemon to have on your team to fill in your fairy and flyer, and it has amazing stats with a massive 120 special attack, and it only gets even better with its Serene Grace ability, landing its spot is the best. Our honorable mentions here are Gardevoir and Tinkaton. On to the fighting type, and Infernape is a clear winner. This monkey has incredible speed with both special and physical attack to demolish anything in its way, making it one of the most versatile Pokemon and maybe even the best starter Pokemon, period. Honorable mentions here are Lucario and Iron Hands. Grass types next, and to counter my last comment, we have Meowskarada, because Paldea wasn't messing around. Meowskarada has a nasty 123 base speed with amazing attack that it's only amplified by its hidden ability protein that makes every attack stab, and its signature move, Flower trick crits every time which is insane. Our honorable mentions here are Roserade and Sceptile. For the poison type, I'm giving it to Crobat. As the ace of all my Nuzlocke, I'm biased here, but with 130 base speed and such a versatile move pool, this absolute unit can take on anything. It has respectable bulk for a little bat, but if you're worried, just you turn out and you'll be golden. Honorable mentions here are Clodsire and Drapion. The best ghost type goes to Aegislash. This Pokemon might just be broken with its stance change ability, making it simultaneously one of the most incredible offensive and defensive Pokemon. Did I also choose it because it's part steel, which is my favorite type? Maybe, but the addition only makes it bulkier and better for it. Honorable mentions here are Mimikyu and Gengar. Next is the flying type, and I'm giving it to Dragonite. Big surprise that almost all the pseudo legendaries are going to be on this ranking. Jokes aside, the only thing holding back this monster of a Pokemon is its 80 base speed, but being within the 600 club, having stats like these, it's easy to see why Dragonite is still one of the best Pokemon of all time. Honorable mentions are Corviknight and Staraptor. For the psychic type, we have the King of Kanto, Alakazam. A disgusting special attack of 135 and 120 base speed, this Pokemon alone is still infamous for just how broken the psychic type was for the first few generations. Sabrina is my favorite gym leader and still scares me to this day. Honorable mentions are Espeon and Reuniclus. Rock types next and it's easily going to Tyranitar. Titar, similar to Dragonite, might be a little slow, but I mean, come on, it's a rock. A Godzilla rock with monstrous attack and amazing defenses. It might not attack first, but it will likely shrug off whatever you throw at it and dish it back tenfold. Just don't let it get punched or it might crumble. Honorable mentions are Agron and Gigalith. Onto the Steel type, the best type, and it's going to Metagross. Please, Game Freak, bring back more non-Dragon pseudos. Love the entire fan base. Metagross is an incredible Steel Psychic masterpiece that just wants love and to bury its enemies under meteors and tons of steel. Aside from having the best shiny ever, Metagross also has a very versatile move pool and several resistances to further exemplify its placement as the best. Honorable mentions are Empoleon and Ferrothorn. 
Last, we have the dragon type and the best goes to Dragapult. This beast flew under the radar and I mean fast, like 142 base speed fast. Accompanying the 600 club, Dragapult is terrifying to go up against. To add to its insane speed, it also has 120 base attack to seal the deal. It's fast, hits hard, and has multiple resistances and immunities, but the opponent likely won't be able to hit it in time anyway. Honorable mentions go to Haxorus and Vaxcalibur. Hopefully this list was somewhat entertaining and since it's the end, you're probably expecting a thoughtful outro.